Welcome to another episode of NSK TV. It's Saturday today and, and it's 12 o'clock which only means more, one thing, magic time. This is the trick that I will be showing you and then teaching you today. I've got three cards in here. I've got the Queen of Hearts, the Two of Spades and I've got the Ten of Diamonds. I want you to think of a card. What, me? Yeah. Okay, which one? Which card are you thinking of? You want it, you, you, yeah, any one of the three? Yeah, most people pick the queen because it's the only picture card. Most people pick the two because it's the only black card. And most people pick the ten because it's the only high spot, the highest spot card. Right, okay. But I get a free choice? Yeah. I'm going to go with the ten of diamonds. Ten of diamonds. Yeah. I knew that. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. I'll show you. You will pick the Ten of Diamonds. Dude, that's amazing. You going to explain that trick? Yeah. Is it difficult? No. Go on then. All you need is an envelope, and yeah. a piece of paper, and three cards. Any three cards. But you need to write write something on one of the back of the cards so if they pick queen you say that was the only card with the cross if they pick the ten of diamonds you take out that if they pick the two of spades you show the back okay okay so there's three different outcomes so you've got show me the show me the back of the envelope again what does it say on there show, show the camera you will pick the two of spades okay and on the piece of paper it says you will pick the ten of diamonds yeah I'm trying to understand this. And on the back of the cards, there's a cross on the back of the, the queen. Yeah. Okay, so how do you set this trick up? What do, what do you do? So let's say I've wrote out the piece of papers and I've wrote out the envelopes. How do you set the trick up? What do you do at the beginning? You put the piece of paper in. Yeah. And then you put the cards in face up. Okay. So could you show me what it would look like with each card if we go through the three different cards that people could pick and how you yeah. would present it. Would that be okay? Yeah. I'm guessing you don't want to show them the other side of the envelope. That's why you have it like this. And you have, and you take the cards out like this, because if you went like this... Oh, they'd see the, see the back of the card, yeah. right. You see the back and is that why the envelope's on the table? Because that way you're not showing the other side of the envelope? Yeah. Okay. And you don't want them to see the piece of paper in there either, do you? No. Okay, so set it up. And perform it to me three times and... And you pick the different And I'll cards. pick the different cards and we can see what you'd say in each situation. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay, go on then. I've got three cards here. I've got the two of spades, the queen of hearts, and the ten of diamonds. Yeah. Right, I want you to think of a card. Okay. What card are you thinking of? The two of spades. I knew you would have picked that card. It says here, you will pick the two of spades. <laughs> I like that. And nobody ever thinks that there's a piece of paper in there, do they? Because No. Or they no. don't think... Right, okay, that's clever. Do it again, then. I've got three pieces. I've got... <laughs> I've got... <laughs> Are you showing us how not to do it? <laughs> yeah. I've got three pieces of cards here. Three cards. Yeah. Think of a card. What card are you thinking of? Anyone. Yeah. Uh, the Queen of Hearts. I knew you would have picked the Queen of Hearts because it's the only one with the cross on the back. Clever. Right, okay, now I'm getting it. All right, okay, that's cool. And can you do the Ten of Diamonds again? Would that be all right? Yeah. I've got three cards here. to say this but people like to say it some people pick the ten of diamonds because it's the highest spot card most people pick the queen of hearts because it's the only picture card and most people pick the two of spades because it's the only black card okay you don't have to say that but if you want to you can but it's a nice thing to say yeah and which card are you thinking pick a pick a card ten of diamonds i knew you would pick that card inside the envelope 
it's got you will pick the ten of diamonds. And I notice how you didn't pick the envelope up, you just slid it out like you did the cards because you don't Yeah, because if you pick it out, if you do that, they would have saw that it says two of diamonds. That's clever. So this is the way not to do it. This is the way not to do it. Okay. I've got three cards here. <laughs> yeah, that would be sucky, wouldn't it? Pick a card. <laughs> Ten of diamonds. Ten of diamonds. I knew you were the pick of ten of diamonds because it says here you will pick the ten of diamonds. Okay. That's yes. not the way to do it because I saw the cross is on the queen and it says you will pick the two of spades. Got it. Got it. That's the way not to do it. Okay. That's clever. And I suppose one thing about this trick is you can't really repeat it to the same person, can you? No, because I might pick a different card. And then see how it works. Yeah. So you can only do it once. Yeah, you can only do it once. Awesome. So you're going to teach us one more trick? Yeah. So I, I take that envelope off you? Yeah, can I have the, um, the cards? Yes, sir. Okay, then. One more trick now on this episode. Okay. I've invited my dad on this because he's going to need a volunteer for this one. I'm a big fan of Blood Magic with Ryan. Thank you for having me. Big fan of you. Can I have an autograph? After, yeah. <laughs> awesome. I'm going to give the card to Waterfall Shuffle and the Hindu Shuffle. This is the Waterfall Shuffle. So, now, so I'm going to mix it up. Is this learn shuffling with Ryan as well? No. <laughs> Educating us as well as doing just... We did teach a shuffle one day. Yeah, we did, we did, yeah. Yeah, we taught the waterfall shuffle that I literally just did. Yeah. This is the Hindu shuffle. It's quite easy, actually. It is. I need to pick a card. Okay. I'll go for that one. Okay. Got it, yeah. I need to put it back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give it a shuffle. Okay. Okay, so it's lost in the deck now. Yeah, I'm happy. Was the three of diamonds your card? No, it wasn't. No, I'm that was not that my card. Down. Okay. And then I'm going to give it a cut. Mm -hmm. Was the... Was the six of diamonds your card? No, it wasn't. I'm going to put that card down as well. Okay. And give it a cut. Okay. Was the six of spades your card? No, sir. No, it wasn't. Put that one down. And one more cut. And was the Queen of Cups your card? No, it wasn't. I'm going to put the deck there. Okay. And I'm going to put these in the card. Okay. Alright. Pull two cards forwards to me. Well, push two cards forwards to me. So, you don't want them. And no. they're not your card. No, they're not, no. I'm going to put that card down. Pull one card forwards. To you. One? Yeah. So you don't want that. No. That wasn't your card. Turn no. over that card. What? Turn over it. No, I don't want it. Yeah, do Re it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's my card. Are you going to explain that? Yeah. Is that difficult to do? No. No? Okay. So explain it. What did, what did they have to do? You don't have to do the shuffle. You can just go straight in because... And then you just... So it's a regular deck. There's no trick cards or anything. No, no trick cards. Okay. You just get them to pick a card. Okay, so they pick a card. And that card's the two of hearts. Right. I know. But I know. In that. In my mem <laughs> when I'm around remembering cards, like numbers on the back, that's the second card in the deck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get on with it. Okay. <laughs> right, so. So they picked a card and it's the two of hearts? Yeah. Mm hmm. So you just cut to the middle. Yeah. And you get them to put your card back. This is the move. You have to put your little finger there. 
little thing uh, of the dealing hand. You're left-handed, yeah. aren't you? So most people would be holding these in their left hand. You're holding them in your right, right hand. Okay. So, so you don't want to do this. Yeah. Or you don't want to do this. Yeah. You want to do this. Perfect timing. So you don't want them to see that the little finger's on there. Yeah. So you have to bend it in just at the last second. Yeah. And you can't you can't see that from the front because from no. the front it looks and from the Wait, side you can't there. right okay turn and from that side you can't you can't see it from that side you can't see it from this side you, you can't, can't really see it from that side it's supposed to, yeah that's really clean okay cool and then you give them a cut and then so if that cut if their cards are there you're gonna want to cut to their card and then you want you don't want to do this. Or you don't want to do this. Or you're going to miss the card. So you want to do it perfect timing. Okay. Well. So their card's now at the top. So I'm sitting at the side. Would it mind if I just show them from this side? Is that all right? So the, yeah. so the card gets put back here. So they can see here. So you're cutting half of the cards above that little finger. Then you're cutting the rest of the cards above the little finger. And then you put the rest of the cards on top. So it looks like you're just cutting the deck. And then their card is still at the top. Okay. Because but they you've think... done that move. Yeah. But they think it's lost, right? But they okay. think it's lost. And then you get, give it a shuffle to the bottom. Can, we, can we just back up and show them how to shuffle to the bottom? Because that, I know you've said that because you know the move, but what are you doing there? Can we put that back on top? So the card's at the bottom right now. Yeah. So all you need to do is hold it like this. Like, it, like you were doing an overhand shuffle? Yeah. And then you just do... Pull, so you pull one card off. You pull... One card off, so it and goes to the bottom. Shuffle on and top. then you can put like rows on. Okay. And then I suppose you don't want them to see the bottom of the deck at this point either, because they'll see no. their cards there. Yeah, and then you just—it's you, actually three shuffles, not one long. Okay. It, so you, that's one shuffle. Which is now put that card to the bottom of the deck. And then, and then you do this, one card. That's the second shuffle. So now... So you just pull one card off and put it to so the bottom. So now there's a card there on top of that. Yeah. And then you give it the rest of the shuffle. But don't lose that card there. So the card's, the card's there, the bottom of the deck is there. Yeah, so now you can show them like the back and everything. Yeah. And when you're about halfway through, you just drop those to the back. Yeah. So now their card is under there. So can you do that in full speed? So the card's on top, you've just done the cutting thing. Show us what the shuffle would actually look like. So it looked like, so there, oh, sorry, that's, well, don't worry about those. Well, don't worry about those. So th show me, show me what the shuffle would look like. So the card's here. Is that the king's It doesn't matter. So show me what the shuffle looks like. So the card's on top, just, I know you've not got a full deck, but show me what the card shuffle looks like. So, so that's your first shuffle, taking it to the bottom. And then your second shuffle, just one. And then your third shuffle, Awesome. You shuffle and then you drop those to the back. Okay, I've got that. So yeah. now their card is in the there. So there, okay. And then you're going to do the glide. This is called the glide. I'm going to show you from underneath. You do this. You pull that card and then you get that card. And then you put that there. So now the... So that card is actually there. But show it in, show it in, um, in actual performance, what it looks like. So you finished your shuffle and you say, no, sh so show them the card first. So show them the card. So you, so you say, is that your card? And you show them, show them all that. Is that your card? No. I'm going to put that card down. So that's actually their card. Now, one thing to point out here, by the way, when Ryland does the glide, because your hands are tiny, I mean, how small are your hands, right? You're seven. They're really small. So because... Okay, so you're tiny. Yeah. So, and that's the point. When adults do the glide, they use these fingers to pull the card back. But your fingers are so small they can't curl around the deck, can they? Mm -hmm. So instead, you 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 use this hand to push the card back as you take the other card forward, don't you? Yeah. So so do that one more time. Was that your card? No. And you put that card there. And you just can't tell. Okay. And then if you do this, you say, is that your card? That's gonna but, be the same card. So you just cut. You cut. Because if you go like this, is that your card? They're no, gonna, the... they're gonna know that they you took the card from underneath, and they might think that that's their card. Yeah. So you give it a cut instead, so they so they don't know that, about that. And then you say, "Was that your card?" No. 
and then you put that one down. So that's not a glide, you're actually putting that card down there. Yeah, you're actually putting that card down. And then you give it another cut. And you say, was that your card? Right. And then you put that card down. And then you give it another cut. And then last card, you, you say, was that your card? And they say no. And you put that last card down and you put the rest here. So, then, so now their card's at the bottom. So now their card's at the bottom. You want it to be there and another card's there. So you're going to have to do this. Right. So if it's at the bottom, you do this. That there, that there. So they're regular. But that's not their card. That is. So you want it to be there, not there. So, uh, so if it's there, you have to do that. Got it. So it's kind of like a bottom deal. Yeah, so now it's there, and you say... Now, this is this is magician's push. choice, isn't it? You're going to yeah. make sure that they pick that card. Yeah, because if they if they push there, you're going to say, you don't want these. If they do this, you say, you don't want them. And if they do this, you say, they don't want them. Or, if they do this, you say, you don't want them. So, so their card is there, and what happens is, whichever card they pull... You, you interpret that if as being If you do that, right. you say you don't want them. Got it. And their card is there. So let's say you don't want these ones. Yeah. Put them back. Put yeah, I've got the deck here. And then you put them there. So their card is there. Yeah. The two of hearts. And then, and then you said, because the two of hearts is there, you said, pull one card to you. And they go that. And you say, they don't, you don't want that. And if they go like this, if they go like this, you say you don't want that, so you make them pick the two of hearts or whatever card they pick. Okay, so do that in full speed. So do that in full speed to me. Pull two cards forwards to you. So you don't want these. No. And they're not your card. No. Put them away. And pull one card, push one card to me. So you don't want that one and that's not your card. No. Turn over that card, it's the two of hearts. And that's how it works. So that's way more tricky than the first trick, isn't it? Because yeah. you've got to learn the glide, you've got to learn how to control the card, and you've got to learn that special yeah. shuffle. But it, it's a really good trick. Yeah. Awesome. With just a regular pack of cards that you can do any time. Yeah, all of them different. That's great. Well, is that the end of Learn, learn Magic with Ryland? Yeah. But you're going to be back again next Saturday. Yeah. Doing more do magic. Do me a favour, hit the subscribe button. So that, so, that, so that people subscribe to the channel. Yeah. And they can see more of you. Yeah. Awesome. You can say thanks. Thank you for watching.